Large, colorful, venomous flying spiders have taken the web by storm recently. And really, they're the making of nightmares, in my opinion. Fox 44's Matt Lawfer heard from an expert and some arachnophobes. By now, many of us have seen the headlines or the stories pop up on our news feed. Giant flying spiders are coming to the Northeast. There are these big, supposedly venomous spiders that can potentially fly. It's scary that we're getting invasive species from other countries. I'm staying inside. I, <laughs> I ain't going out. Before you panic. Probably shipping out and moving to another state. <laughs> I would burn the house down. <laughs> a few things you should know about these Joro spiders. I don't think there's going to be spiders raining out of the sky like some of the headlines have, have, have had us to believe. Leah Valerio is kind of the spider pro at the Wild Center in Tupper Lake. They're not actually flying with wings or anything like that. It's just the wind. Well, spiders like the Joro spider, what they do to disperse um, from where they were born is they create these little balloons of silk and they'll put a line of silk out and they use it, oh, it's almost like hot air ballooning. So they throw that up into the air and that's how they travel. The wind will take them. Valerio says these spiders are not actually dangerous to people. That is the big question of the day. So they are venomous. They use that venom, as we mentioned, to catch and eat their prey. Really, it's not a concern to humans. It's not a venom that's gonna cause major health issues. And again, from my research, the, the bite of a Joro spider is less um, irritating than a bee sting. So it's really not a health concern for humans. Some web sources say they've been spotted in Georgia, Alabama, North and South Carolina, and Tennessee. None here in New York yet. Not yet. They're really down in the southern states, but they are likely going to make their way northward. In Plattsburgh, Matt Lawfer, Fox 44 News. They just fly with the wind, apparently.